Guys, you know I'm always looking for a bargain, and this is no exception. This is the cheapest guitar tool set I could buy on Timo. Stick around. This is the cheapest guitar kit I could buy on Timo. I don't even know if I'll put a link in the description. We'll have to see uh, if this thing has anything of value inside. I think this retails for about $10. Let's hope there's $10 worth of product in here. We have a pair of, I'm going to call them wire cutters, restring and trim the guitar strings with these. Sure they work fine. Not sure of the quality. A usable tool. Okay. Tool number two, a screwdriver. It's a double-ended screwdriver. One side is Phillips, one side is a, a flathead, of course. You can adjust the length of the screwdriver there. That, that's not a bad. Okay. I like the screwdriver, I gotta admit. This one I can see a value. You'll probably find use for this if you're a guitar owner. Two piles, the OK pile, the definitely junk pile. I'll put that in the OK pile. Next up in the kit is a string winder. Very cheap feeling lightweight plastic. If you don't have a string winder, I'm sure that'll work just fine. But this is, you know... 20 cent plastic stuff, I'll say not so great. This is not really toolkit related, but it's in here. Guitar pick keychain or key ring. They're good ones, I like them. Different uh, thicknesses it feels like. Always have a pick with you with the guitar pick keychain. I do like these, so I'm gonna put it in the okay pile. However, it's not a tool. Also in here that's not a tool are these uh, acoustic guitar string holding pegs. Nothing wrong with them, but they are not a tool. You may need these if you have an acoustic and you lose one. Next up is a plastic, a string pitch ruler, and a string action ruler. Uh, as long as it's accurate, and I have no reason to believe that it isn't. Still, it's just a piece of plastic. I'm going to put it in a not-so-good side. There's much better tools for measuring your action. Again, not tools. This is uh, a little pack that has those donut strap locks, the rubber strap locks that go on the buttons to, to hold the strap on, and more picks. Again, not tools. Accessories, yes, but not tools. I think this will qualify as a tool. It is a pretty flimsy, however, it is metal ruler in metric and in imperial inches, but this would probably be a much more accurate way to measure your action rather than this plastic card. Uh, it is a straight edge sheet. You, We'll find uses for that along the way. So I'm going to put this in the tool side as a good tool. However, it's it's not that impressive. It's a pretty flimsy metal metal ruler. These are tools. These are Allen wrenches that you will use to adjust truss rods. These are good. They are nice long handles. Just be careful. Don't use this extra leverage to tweak your truss rod out. I'll say yes, tools. They'll go on the good side. Okay, lastly, we have some files. And I'm not sure in a guitar repair kit or a guitar maintenance kit. A good solid rough edge to it. You can definitely use a flat file like this to maybe clean up a nut a little bit. As far as shaping, I wouldn't go looking to slot a nut with this. It'd probably do more damage than good. This I believe is called a rat tail file. And you could, if you were very careful, just widen out a nut slot a little bit with this, but be very careful. And this is just another flat file with a, a concave side too. Not a lot of use for these in guitar world, honestly. If you're gonna do your own nut slots, you definitely don't wanna use these. I wouldn't get these near my guitars. So I'm gonna put them in the no side. In the Timu $10 toolkit, the case is fine. It feels pretty substantial. In the not so good side, I put this set of files. I think they're just not what you need. The accessories are accessories. They're not tools. So for the actual tool side, we have the files, the ruler, three Allen wrenches, a wire cutter, an adjustable Phillips and flathead screwdriver. That's it. And honestly, I'd pass on the whole thing. I mean, the screwdriver's kind of neat. You can always use a wire cutter to cut string ends, but to call this a guitar repair kit or even a guitar maintenance kit is a pretty far stretch. I mean, even asking $10 for this is seeming, it seems like quite a bit. My recommendation is to pass on the cheap guitar toolkits. They all look to be the same. They all look to have the same tools in them, if you can call them tools, because half of them aren't. Hard pass on the guitar toolkit. I want to thank you for watching today. If you enjoyed the video and you want to see more about cheap gear, then I encourage you to hit that like button and to subscribe. So until next time, take care of yourself and peace.